Hello, welcome back to my channel. This week's video, a bit different. As you know, the Saturday video is always a bit random, quite often. At the beginning of the week, I don't even know what you guys are going to get on Saturday. This one has been waiting to be filmed for a few weeks. So a couple of weeks ago, Natalie and I went out shopping when the, when the um, retail stores reopened and we went into a shop called Flying Tiger. You may not have one of these near you. I know there are branches across the UK. They are originally based in Copenhagen. Copenhagen, Copenhagen, Copenhagen. Is it Agen or Argen? Anyway, that's where they're originally based. And I know there are branches across the UK, but I don't know if they are in smaller towns or if they're only in big cities. I know it's, I know the company's called Flying Tiger, but the branding across the shop doorway just says Tiger now, so either way, you may have one near you. What this essentially is, I don't think they're even affiliated with IKEA, but Natalie and I refer to it as the good bits of IKEA all in one place. What we mean by that is you go to IKEA and you trek around all the room displays and you trek around the warehouse and all the rest of it, and then there's one bit. In our IKEA, it's just after you go down the escalators. So you do the top bit with the room displays, you go down the escalators, and I'm in Bristol, by the way, in the UK. And when you get to the bottom of the escalators, the bit, there's the bit with the plants, and then you go through that and you go through into the warehouse. But that bit with the plants, whatever, that's where they keep the ooh stuff, silly stuff, weird little bits of stuff, like, I don't know, rolls of coloured sticky tape, you know, like like washi tape and and little glass jars that you don't know what you want them for and colouring pads and gift wrap and weird things that it never occurred to you. That kind of stuff. Tiger is all of that. Again, not really IKEA as far as I know. Tiger is all of that, but more, and it's in one place. If you have not been to Tiger, I suggest you have a look. They call themselves on, online a variety store company. So yeah, they have uh, they have a website, but it's not a retail website. Um, it's interesting that it shows it's got some activities for kids um, to do at home. So you can download some colouring patterns and whatever, which is I think that's a nice touch because there's no obligation for them to do that. And then there's a bit that says this is us and and tells you all about the um, the company. For example, they have things like a carrot sharpener, which is one of those things that you think oh, I didn't know I needed a carrot sharpener, but I want to try one. And all sorts of odd things that you did not expect to think of, want or need. This, by the way, not a sponsored video. Flying Tiger wouldn't know me if I stood up in their soup. They do not know who I am, not sponsored, not gifted, not anything, just I like them and we went. And shall I get to the point of this video? Every now and again, they do these. And it is essentially a lucky bag, a surprise dip lucky dip bag and they do them in several sizes so I believe they do and you can you can correct me if I'm wrong I believe they do a two pound size but the day we were there they had a three pound and a five pound size and they also have the ones that are marked specifically for kids or ones that are marked specifically for all the family so for example if you do you remember the lucky dip bags we had as kids I think they were about 50p bear in mind I was born in the year 400 BC when you know dinosaurs roamed the earth that's not when dinosaurs roamed the earth 400 years before Christ was not when, when Tyrannosaurus Rex would wander around. <laughs> I was born a long time ago, I went to school a long time ago, but the lucky dip bags we had as a kid were about A4 size, brightly coloured, and when you opened them there'd be a colouring book in there, and probably a little packet of sweets, and maybe some pencils, and a little silly toy, and it was, you know, just, just cheap stuff to keep the kids happy after a day at Tesco's I suppose you know I suppose it's the kind of thing that as parents you and I don't know if they still exist for kids these days I, I it's my children are grown up there are no grandchildren in this house yet um I don't know if they still exist either way that's kind of what this is it's a lucky dip bag and obviously from Tiger's point of view it's the stuff that they've maybe got overstock of this one was five pounds so that's a bit of an increase in price for lucky dip bags since the 50p days of my childhood but i couldn't resist it sorry this i absolutely love this sweatshirt but the neckline's a bit higher than i'm used to i might have to cut it with some scissors slash i've gone completely off now having said that i couldn't resist it it sat there on the desk over there for a fortnight or more taunting me because I knew I wanted to video the opening of it and I haven't had time to do it. Just so you know how I've made time to do it, it's now 7.13am. I'm up dressed, hair and everything at 7.13am to film this video because otherwise I wouldn't have had time to do it this week either. 
dedication's what you need if you want to be a whatever it is. You want to be a record breaker? Anyway, here it is. This is the five pounds suitable for everyone tiger supplies bag. I've held off it. I've held it off opening it for so long that it's actually dusty. <laughs> Dust settles in my house quite quickly. And let's have a look inside. well stuck. Some of the contents, let me, have a, let me hold it so that you guys can peep inside. Some of the contents look are wrapped in brown paper. Does this mean they are breakable or does it simply mean that they want to hide them to make the surprise a bit more exciting? I don't know. I'm not going to tip them all out. I'm going to do arm in and grab. I think that's... Um, what we're doing here is we're, build, we're building suspense, okay? And making the video more than three seconds long. First up is something that's of absolutely no use to me whatsoever. <laughs> it started well. This is the cover for an iPhone 5, 5S or 5SE. Well, aren't we on iPhone 96 or something by now? Isn't there a reason they've got overstock of these? Is it because nobody in the world owns an iPhone 5 anymore? Are these the iPhones, you know, that, that are like a brick? It's clear, it's completely clear plastic, and it would have been great for Natalie to customise using her Cricut, but I don't know if iPhone 5s are still a thing. If you've got an iPhone 5 and you would like a customised phone case, you need to be the first person in the comments to say so. Natalie can fit a name on there, or, or a picture, or a, a quote, or whatever. We can do that on the Cricut, and we will do that for you as a freebie, because otherwise this is going to go in the charity shop or in the bin, and that would be a terrible way. So if you have iPhone 5, sorry, make it focus, focus, iPhone 5, iPhone 5S or iPhone SE. I presume that's 5SE, I don't know. If you have one of those and you'd like a customised phone cover, let me know. We'll make that for you. We're too good to you. She's asleep, she knows nothing about this. I'm just volunteering her skills. Going in. Pearl Clay. Kugelvox Pearl Clay. Do I have to click, take my glasses off to read? I have reading glasses, it's just that they're in the bedroom. None of this seems to be in English. Oh, the English bit's been uh, torn off by some thug. I don't know what Pearl Clay is. It seems to have little bubbles in it. Should we open it and find out? Natalie probably knows what it is. It's probably something that children enjoy. Not that Natalie's a child, but she knows more about what kids enjoy. <laughs> Hang on. I hope the English bit wasn't the warning bit that said, do not get this on your bare hands or you will die, because I've, I've not got that. I don't know what the hell this is. If it was a pizza, that'd be a brilliant cheese pull, but it's not a pizza. And this is not cheese. And it's a bit dried up, I think. I wonder if it's meant to be. Is somebody out there watching this going, oh my god, you stupid woman, have you never seen that before? No, no, I have not. So it... Oh, it's a, it's a kind of a moulding. It must be a moulding material for children to play with, silly way. The word clay should have given that. It hasn't left any residue on my hands. That's interesting. Look, I've got this piece out. I've turned it into... I've turned it into one of those awful sweets that you get in... It's not dolly mixtures, is it? No, it's um, licorice all sorts. When you buy licorice or sorts, you get one nasty sweet that's covered in little balls like that. Do you know those ones in licorice or sorts? I think they're pink when you buy licorice or sorts, but nobody likes them. People like licorice or sorts, but nobody likes that. If you like that little, no, I'm not sending you these to eat, but if you are the weird person who likes that little sweet in the licorice or sorts that has the little balls all over it, let me know below so that I can judge you for it. So there we go, a little pot of pearl clay, which, um, which I've thrown on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> which we'll give to Lexi and James to play with. For those watching, um, James is Natalie's... Natalie has stayed very good friends with her ex-boyfriend. James is his son, so kind of sort of stepson delineation. And Lexi is James's best friend and also the daughter of Natalie's best friend. So to, Nat to Lexi, Natalie is a bit like an auntie. So they spend a lot of time together. And they'll probably end up playing with that clay. Right. Are we ready? This one's in brown paper. Oh, might have just broken something. It's been wrapped by, um, 
to be honest it looks like it's been wrapped by my friend Tammy this is actually wrapped for Christmas presents <laughs> it's been wrapped by someone who was not interested in the wrapping process if she's watching this I'll soon hear about it oh oh I quite like it is it a planter do you think or is it a milk jug it's a teapot they say teapot it's not a teapot it's got no bloody lid unless the lid's coming out next there's another shall I open this one in case it's the lid I feel like it won't be it is it is the lid okay and it's not a, I thought it was an elephant it's a cat okay again I think it's cute I think it's a cute thing it's got a little chip on one ear I don't know if you guys can will it focus on the chip little chip on the ear there I think it's cute I don't want it I'll never use it if anybody would like it first to comment I'd like the cat teapot and I will send it to you although I cannot be held responsible for whether it makes it without further chips it's quite a cute little thing there are no prices on the tags of these things so I don't know how much it would have cost new nothing in tiger is very expensive i would expect this was probably maybe two or three pounds but but i definitely do not want or need a pussycat teapot if you do it's got a weird expression on its face looks really smug weird smug it might your cats do look smug don't they if you want this comment below it's yours I don't know when they do these bags and they're selling them at five pounds I assumed that the contents were worth more than five pounds but now I'm wondering if they just put in five pounds worth of assorted stock coming up next the other good thing about um tiger is that all the stuff on there is Copenhagen or Hagen. we didn't decide it's Denmark isn't it so I presume this is Danish and it's an optreklarklarl Op trechle op 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 trechle op trechle I sound more Irish than Danish. It's a retractable charging cable for USB C. Now I do have a USB C fitting on my phone, and I will use this. So this is actually not a bad thing. I'm pleased with this. I probably wouldn't have paid a fiver just to get this, but it's a it's a funky little um little fold away job and pull that out that's your USB-C fitting so what's this one then that's is that the ordinary USB I don't know what that one is Natalie will know Natalie knows stuff but that's the one for my phone and then the other side said she trying to get her fingernail under it failing horribly is the is the USB plug and it pulls out and now I've broken it because it no longer wishes to retract how have I done that? Unbelievable. Oh, it is retracting. It is. I've retracted it. I retract. I retract my omission. I'm quite pleased with that. Like I said, I wouldn't have rushed out and bought one for £5, but I will use it. It will come in handy downstairs where too many cables are already taking over the world. And I like the fact that it folds up into itself, not just retracts, but that you can pack the ends away. I think that's a really good idea. <laughs> I should not be allowed near stuff. There we go. I packed it away. I'm really quite pleased with that. I don't get out much. <laughs> this is the last one. Would I rush out and spend another fiver on another one of these bags? I might do just for the novelty value, but I wouldn't have very high expectations. <gasps> but however, whoever is getting the cat teapot is also getting... I wonder if it's a Japanese tea bowl because teapot and bowl are odd combination aren't they they don't know what it is they're not saying they've not they've not called this anything what they I presume they've gone surely any fool can see that's a bowl whereas this maybe they went some idiot will think it's a milk jug until she finds the head maybe that's what they did so there we go if you are getting the teapot you are also getting a little puddy cat bowl that's a cute thing isn't it if you are a cat lover, I like dogs. I don't mind cats. Cats are fine, but I'm a do you're either cat or dog. I'm dogs. But 
if you're cats you if you're a cat person you might like this and it is yours for free you just need to be the first person in the comments to say i'd like that please and then you'll need to contact me on either facebook or on instagram or on the email address that's underneath all my videos and to let me know where you'd like me to send it and i will post it to you and don't forget as well if you're if you're up for a personalized iphone cover i forgot my words then let me know for that one as well so out of my five pounds bag let's have a quick recap i got some clay putty that the children may or may not play with an iphone case that i do not want a pussycat tea teapot and bowl that i do not want but i agree they are very nice and they're probably you know not that not bad worth money and my little charger cable that i do want was it the best five i've ever spent no i've bought cake in my life many many cakes that's always a good spend back in the room was it a fun fiver i think so i enjoyed dipping into the bag um, um this bag is recyclable so that's that's a win isn't it um i mean if, to be fair i could use this as a gift bag for somebody for their birthday if i wanted to I'm, i don't like people so i'm not buying anyone a gift <laughs> I think it was a fun fiver to spend whether or not it was a good value for money fiver i'm not sure you decide let me know in the comments below what you think let me know if you have tiger near you and if you've ever bought one of these lucky bags and if you've got something outrageous in yours i hope you've enjoyed this video remember to give me a thumbs up it really does help the channel if you're not already subscribed do the little subscribe thing down below ring the bell ding -a -ling -a -ling, and that way you'll get notified whenever anything new goes up on the channel i am currently uploading four pre-records a week that is my weekly vlog my weekly diet video my weekly charity shop pickups camera batteries going gaff talk quick and um and the whatever this is on a saturday and i'm also going live at least once a week so there's plenty to see on the channel i have to say goodbye really quickly before the camera goes thank you for watching love you all see you soon take care bye for now <laughs>